Hey everybody, how we doing today? Beautiful day here at Florida Keys. Another nice one. Uh, today we are out prospecting again. This time I am going to be hitting the northern half of Kudo Key. Not Kujo, Kudo Key. Um, I've done the south half, now I'm going to do the north half to the point there. And then there's a little island just to the uh, left of it there, which is our west. And then uh, there's some kind of humps just past that underground kind of rises I'm going to take a look at. But right now, there is just tons of pelicans diving in this open water here. So I'm going to be sticking around here. I just ran over a school of tarpon over here, so that's a good sign. Uh, I might pick up some pilchards just to have them on hand. But uh, otherwise, uh, we're going to use some artificials today as well. So let's keep skedaddling along. A couple of redfish there. Oh, I'm getting to the closer to the fishing spot so I can slow it down a bit. Oh, there's a tarpon. What oh, are those redfish? Oh, those are tarpon. Don't move. Don't spook them. Look at all of them. Oh. All about the bait fluke. Oh. Where'd they go? Well, definitely a spot here. Two redfish and then a, a school of tarpon. Ooh, gotta set my drag. Not so crazy. I was, oh, there we go. Oh, shoot. Oh, there they are. Oh, will one get it? Oh, he's got it. Oh, shoot. Oh, there they go that way. I am just a tree. Uh, this is definitely where they were hanging. Still want those redfish. Nice two of them. I didn't spook them too bad, but they went down in there. Ah, tarpon everywhere. Right there in front of me. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, in the trees. Out of the trees. Oh, and that spooked them. Oh, no, he came out. He's not, like, concerned at all. He just does not want to have anything to do with that. And then he saw me. Oh, that was bad. School of redfish there. They were sitting right in this pocket. I wasn't paying attention to them. They're still there. If I could just anchor up quietly, don't spook them. I think they'll stay there. Oh, I'm getting pushed hard. Ooh. Where'd they go? There's about 10 of them. Oh, there they are. Oh. Oof. Come back, Reds. Oh, there they are. There they go. Oh. He went for it. Now they go that way. Need my fly rod. Where'd the other ones go? Golly. Seeing these big schools of reds, big schools of tarpon, and I'm useless. And finally made it to the north side tip. 
most of that was just basically silt covered dead spots didn't see anything living in them those places that i was seeing those tarpon and the redfish there was like bottlenecks current that kind of stuff but over there there was a lot of bays but they didn't go anywhere and it was just packed layered of just silt so i'm just going to go to the edge over here and then check a couple other spots there's a uh, mullet mud right there that i'm going to check out here too and that's a big spanish key so that's why i did really good over there but oh shoot this guy's fishing here don't mess up his vibe so we'll go back and check that uh mullet mud because that'll be an upcoming thing for this winter all right the beautiful day changed big black clouds rolled in so my sight fishing has been kind of difficult so i made the run over here to uh how key i think it is just to check it out got some pretty heavy uh irma damage there but still got quite a bit of greenery going down that way so i'm just gonna paddle my way along the edge see if i could see anything uh like i said it's difficult without the sun so we'll have to play it by ear then that will do me for checking out both sides over here and then i'm gonna go back to where i was seeing those schools of reds and uh, tarpon and see if i could play with those i uh, still haven't found any pilchards so that's surprising but i'm thinking i'll find them on this island so that is it nice island but not too much right now especially super low tide so it's about two feet low this bottom is prop killing hard rock so not much going to be around here when the water's this thin so i'm going to start heading back to those other areas and checking them out there's a school of tarpon I see them rolling around there so they're going to be in this area here see if they'll pop up again heard them gurgling i think there's one sitting right over there too yeah i can see them rolling over there just out in that open water there get up over there casting range see them all bubbling there rolling happy playing stealthy here where'd they go in front of me here oh oh what the hell broke it off where why what happened there Oh God, it just broke my uh, braided line. Must have had a fray on there. Oh golly, killed that five inch <laughs> fluke. All right, let's re-rig, dang it. All right, I'm gonna go to the uh, four inch sparkly back shad there. So that'll mimic a uh, pilchard or glass minnow. I think what happened is uh, when I was fighting those uh, grouper and the snook and the trees there, it damaged my uh, line, my braided line, and I didn't check that. So one whack and it just popped it. So let's see if we can get one of these guys to bite here. I'm rolling over there. There's a couple of them rolling there. There they are. Oh, oh shoot. Missed them. Oh, they're still there. Oh, rolling all over the place. Oh, don't spook them. There it goes. <laughs> Set that hook. 2x strong mustad, so don't be worried about pull straightening those hooks. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Stay out of the green stuff over there. Yeah, this is actually the third one. I had one when I wasn't, uh, I was just blind casting over there. Oh, blind casting over there and lost it. And that one that, oh, one that broke me off. 
Thankfully, this reel I re uh, rebuilt last night did the drags, all the bearings, greased it up, so it's smooth. But I didn't check the line, so that was my bad. Nice. And that is the four inch flukes, putting them to work. I still hear them. Oh, they're over there. All right, I'm gonna release you. I'm gonna release you. Get on those guys. Nice. Not so worried anymore. I have 8,000 flukes. <laughs> when I sell out, I don't just go buy a 10 pack. I buy 8,000 of them. And I got more coming. Look at that smooth drag. Nice. Don't jump. Oh yeah, oh, he, he ripped my fluke off, all right. Oh, 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 I got him right in the side here. Ah. Wow, those young guys got the energy. Never wear out. Just want my hook back. Just nope. Guess not. Now nah, you're done. Cooperate. Right in the corner of the mouth there. Yep. Open wide. There he goes. Stop. 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 Two X strong mustad, that ain't gonna break. The beauty there. All right, catch his buddies now. All right, so even that little guy chafed the crap out of that leader. So all the way to right about here. Fortunately, I upgraded, updated, upgraded to a 30 pound uh, mono. So. That gives me a little bit more longevity on those fights. Oh, see him rolling over there. All right, let me rig up here. All right, so that's the rigging kit set up. That's the uh, 3 aught 60 degree bend, 2X strong Mustad. This is the small size uh, bait keeper, corkscrew bait keeper with the centering pin. And this is the glow 4 inch. I'm going to try that out. It's basically like using a white during the day, but it does have a really high glow effect. So just get that uh, centering pin in the middle and just start twisting it on the corkscrew. Ooh, rolling right in front of me. Nervous hands, nervous hands. Just gonna roll it on there. Ooh, I'm a little bit off, but there's tarpon rolling in front of me. Get through the center there and bam, ready to go. So the water's only a foot and a half, two foot deep here, so I don't want anything that drops. And that's what these uh, flukes are good for. You can suspend them and just a little tweak and it pops them back on the surface again. And I'll stay in that strike zone a lot longer. And that's what I'm needing over here. Um, there's a skinny flats and then it dumps off into this corner to a little deeper. And I'm seeing them roll over there. So I'm just gonna, Put it a little bit around there. Oh, missed it. Oh, oh, I got it. Missed it. Damn, they flashed on it. Oh.
<laughs> oh, got some weeds on it. Dang it. They're still there and they're still happy. Get it past in there. Oh, there he goes. There it is. Oh, and he's still on. Set that hook to a strong mustad. You definitely don't have to worry about bending them on these guys. And that's how we do it. Flukes, baby. Keys for the flats. Skinny water flukes. Whoa. Oh, he's oh got it on his nose. Still see the bait there. Oh, oh, pulled it. All right, I got my bait back. But that is it there. And that dude glows in the dark. Has some nice sparkles to it. Again, we're just mimicking the uh, pilchards and uh, glass minnows. And I just want something that stays up. Up feeding mouths, top water baits. Yeah, I can see bubbles right over there. I think they ran inside after I was catching those fish, but now they're slowly moving their way out. I'm just watching for bubbles now. Sometimes they'll roll, but I'm seeing little blurp, blurp, blurps. Bubbled up right there. Oh, we got it. There he goes. Oh, popped him off. Dang it. I didn't do my double hook set. Girly hook, girly hook. Dang it. Well, they'll eat the glow. And then to make it weedless, right now the tip's exposed, just push it up, insert it in the plastic, and then just the tip is just underneath the plastic there, and that'll keep it weedless. Oh, you Go ahead and roll it over here, I think. Oh! There he goes. Got him. Ugh, hit this. Oh, spit it again. <laughs> Waited too long. Dang it. <laughs> These guys. One bubbled up. Over there. Oh, there he goes. Oh, I don't have my drag set. That's why. Golly. Gotta quit messing around here. See all the tarpon? I spooked them from uh, where I was fishing to over here. Wonder where they went. Look all this dust they kicked up. Oh, right there. Here they were. And this is why those tarpon are on that side is because there's a river inlet there. And I bet you it cuts right through the middle so they can just kind of go in circles to the middle of the island, come back around. Just like a little tarpon highway. I don't know if that's a snook or a tarpon. Looks like a couple of tarpon. Nice snook, maybe? Redfish? Godly. Oh, they look like little tarpon. Oh, fudge. That wasn't good. Tarpon. Oh, I should have rigged it weedless. But those are tarpon or snook? Oh, those are snook. Oh, he's got it. Oh! Snook! You suck! You suck! Dang it! Ah! Oh, that was my snook! 
God, me broke me off again. Golly. I got to put 30 pound on this one too. Dang it. I'm wearing my snook shirt. Dang it. Tarpon, shut up. And it's right there, he's back again. Fly time. Snook, they're in there. I could see him swimming past there. I gotta retrieve this thing and back up. Threw it right in the middle of this mangroves. Deep, deep in the mangroves. Oh, see, there's a snook right there. Oh, golly, I've got the right shirt. Why didn't it work? Because I don't have drag. I don't have the right leader. All right, back up time and we're gonna ambush him again. We'll put 30 weight leader, put another all about the bait bucktail jig because they are like killing that thing. I'm gonna lock down that drag. I'm gonna go to war. If that's a snook or tarpon over there. Tucked in there really tight. Oh, redfish there. Dang it. Focus, focus. Oh. All right, there's a bunch of tarpon in this little hole here. I have very little chance of getting him out if I uh, do get a bite. Oh! <laughs> Holy crap, that's awesome! Dang! Oh. Wind is cranking. Man, he was hungry. There we go. Oh, not the snappers. They move. Dang it. Oh no, there's one right there. Oh, there's a couple of them. Oh, oh. <laughs> they keep trying for it. Got it. Nope. Oh, they bit it and let go. I'll leave the hook exposed a little bit. I don't want to catch that rope. Oh, there it goes. Oh, no. I had my drag undone again. Oh, that was my snook. Damn it. Son of a crap. What the hell? That was a snook. <sighs> I'll lose this lure right in here. <laughs> I don't want to throw it over there because it's all those tarpon are at. Keep on that side of the rope. Oh, golly! Jump over that. That's a tarpon there. No, get on this side of the rope. Ooh, that's going to wake everybody up. Stay out of there. Oh, good old fluke action. That'll wake everybody up. That was the uh, shad black back, sh black back shad. All right. Oh, you're bleeding. I got a quick release you. He swallowed it. Eh, you can keep it. I have many more. Go. Turn over. There he goes. Soft plastic sticking out of his face. I think the the tide is finally changing. Oh, dang it. No, no. 
Wait, what is that? Tarpon or snow? Oh, tarpon. Like shooting fish in a barrel. You can, whoa, nope, nope. Oh, broke it. A little bit too much drag there. Yeah, a little bit too much drag. That was set for snook. Man, I am going through those rigging kits and <laughs> flukes like nothing. Be a lot cheaper to net some pilchards. All right, bringing out the secret weapon. That's the two and five eighths inch gold flake paddle tail with the all about the bait one eighth ounce jig head, three aught hook. That little vibrating tail. Oh, I think that was a snapper. Do 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 do. Two and five inch paddle tail. There we go. Oh, oh, what is this? What is this? Weeds? Weed fish? Ah, oh, snapper. Snapper and the weed fish. Oh. There it goes. <laughs> That's the baby. Two and five eighths inch paddle tail. Change it up a bit. Yep. Give him something else to look at. That's the old standby there. All right, I need to go catch a redfish or a snook. So, last one. Oh, in the trees. There's that paddle tail. Oof. Knock you out. All right. Your hook too good. My leader is strong. My knots are good. My hooks and jig heads are good. I just want my jig back. I just want my jig back. Nope, 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 nope. Wait, 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 wait. One second, one second. There he goes. All right. <laughs> He's like, I'm lost. Help me. What? You got beat up. Come here. Get going. In shock that way want to just hang out with me be my buddy all right let's see if we can catch a redfish there was one big one that swam by me when I my camera died you don't know where to go I'm all tarpened out well I'm pretty sure I spooked them all there they go there was a school of them right laid up in here. I just can't see and plus my shadow is going right above them. Dang it. I don't know if those were snook or redfish. It's one of them. Man, I just can't see them. See all the puff marks there. All right, there's some big snook. Just went right over there. Dang it, they're underneath the trees there. These are big ones. Gotta come out somewhere here. Yeah, these were the, those were really big chunky ones. Oh, there they are. There they are. Oh, not. Dang it, dang it, dang it. That spooked those. 
All righty, I am going to call it a day. Uh, I know where the redfish and snook are, so not a problem. I'll just come directly to them and I'll hammer them this next time. Uh, today was a lot of the tarpon, but I wanted to feature the all about the bait uh, flukes and rigging kits. And uh, yeah, they did very well, so super happy about that. So uh, anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next video. Bye.